Motor Unit The human body contains many skeletal muscles, muscles that are in charge of moving our body. Any voluntary movement starts with a command from the brain. This command goes down through the spinal cord, exits through a motor neuron, and goes to the muscle. In this video, we will learn about the somatic motor unit and how the muscles and nerves work together to perform different tasks. The central nervous system controls every skeletal muscle through an alpha motor neuron. The alpha motor neuron cell body is located in the spinal cord at the ventral horn. The axon exits through the ventral roots and inserts into muscle fiber. A motor neuron axon branches many times after entering the target muscle and each branch makes its way to different muscle fibers and forms a small cluster of terminal branches. When a motor neuron fires, all the muscle fibers in the motor unit contract at the same time. The size of a motor unit varies from just a few fibers in the eye muscles, precise movements, to over a thousand threads in the large leg muscles, powerful movements. The All or None Law This principle states that if a single motor unit receives a stimulus of sufficient intensity to bring forth a response, all the muscle fibers within that unit will contract at the same time and to the maximum extent. If the intensity or duration of the stimulus is increased, the height of the impulse will remain the same. The nerve fiber either gives a maximal response or none at all. However, the muscle can regulate its strength by activating only the required number of motor units needed for a specific action. For example, if a trainee performs squats without additional weight, a small number of motor units will be recruited together. But when a trainee does the squat with heavy weights, more motor units will be required to complete the exercise. In summary, when you want to activate a muscle for a specific task, the brain sends a signal through the spinal cord. The signal exits the spinal cord through the alpha motor neuron and travels along the axon until it reaches the target muscle. Then the axon branches and transmits the signal to the muscle fiber through the neuromuscular junction.